Oh, hi guys, you've caught me celebrating. Welcome, it's me, Chris, for the Cheek of It 69 on YouTube. A big hello and a big thank you for joining me here from London, England. Very cloudy and actually getting pretty cold here at the moment. What I am doing, I'm actually celebrating the six month anniversary here of the Cheek of It 69, specifically here on YouTube. It's exactly six months and my baby has saved me. If you don't know, comedy really has saved my life. I went through a lot of problems in my life. I'm actually a normal person, like a lot of you people out there most definitely are. And it really did, and I really was emotional today and I cried my eyes out as I'm very very attached to the channel it is my baby and I love it love it love it dearly I mean I am what I am as Popeye used to say and that's the way it is it will always be the same what I do want to do as well before I pass over to some of the other lovely workers here at the studio today I want to welcome the extra 10 family members to the channel that is now 613 absolutely the creme de la creme of the human race as I've told you before welcome to the channel what I'm gonna do actually I've got to sort you lot out. I noticed from the last show I said I was going to text you all and you were supposed to text back yes so I could get 20 beautiful pounds out of you into my bank account and none of you have done it. It's made me really, really sad and I told my mum and she said you were absolutely in trouble, all of you out there. What I've got to do now, I've got to go stripping, which is absolutely crazy. And maybe that's some of your tactics out there, isn't it? Not to give me your 20 pounds sending the text back to me and now I've got to go and do stripping so you can see me doing all of my special moves I can do it all you know I'm absolutely fantastic when it comes to it I actually did know it may come to this so I bought my little warmer out what I have to do when I'm stripping I have to get fully erect as you can see and then put my little tiny todger in this just to keep it warm down there like that so the ladies can't get a look at it so I'm all prepared because I knew what you are up to at home I'm gonna pass you up to someone else and I'll see you back here in a moment Hey, it's me, Private Dick, and don't touch my privates. I'm used to the glitz glamour, the lights of New York City. Now I've got to put up with the piss-soaked shit addies of London, where I travel the world for a case if it kills me. I've heard there's a hot mama lives around here by the name of Christine. She sounds like one hell of a classy chick. That's the only reason I'm here for the case. I'll see you soon. Hi guys, welcome back. I'm glad you enjoyed looking at my private dick. It was absolutely fantastic, wasn't it? Make sure you keep it between me and you and make sure it's private most definitely. Some of you have asked how I change in between the workers here at the cheek of its 69 studios. What I do, I carry this mallet around and I give myself a push right on the head. All of a sudden I'm like this, going crazy in my mind as I am anyway, to be totally honest with you. And then I switch over the actual personalities in my head. It's absolutely crammed up there, in my house and in my head. I've got all these multiple personalities. I mean, I've got a one-bedroom flat apartment for the Americans, where I live in, and I've got 18 people all crammed in there. I just can't sleep at night. It's absolutely mental. And then I've got to come home, and I've obviously got to deal with all of them, probably when I get back upstairs in a minute. I'm going to pass you over to Grandad in a second. I'll tell you about him in a moment. But it is mad. I mean, I just can't have a minute's peace anymore. It drives me absolutely insane. Then I've got to film for you guys, and it's absolutely mental but what you're gonna do as I said you're gonna see granddad he's driving me absolutely nuts at the minute what is it with old people don't get me wrong I dearly love old people I mean I'm old myself I'll probably be on the scrap heap uh, in about an hour and a half myself so I've not got too much longer before I've got to deal with it all and I've got to be shitting on the floors a bit like granddad this is what he does to be honest I've got to look after him all the time now he's a bit like a baby I mean I've got to get him dressed in the morning same as a baby I've got to then do him breakfast and feed him same as a baby then I've got to watch him all the way through the day if I'm busy in the house or busy doing something for the channel and I hear a noise I've got to go running straight in thinking he's fallen over a bit like a baby then I've got to get him ready for bed and tuck him in and then obviously I've got to change his nappy as well a bit like a baby what's happened today which is absolutely crazy I've got in the toilet I've looked down and I've seen a big massive lump of shit excrement that is on the floor he insisted no 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 of course not it wasn't granddad it wasn't me obviously not I mean it weren't me I know that 100% because I'd already shit my underwear about 20 minutes beforehand so it definitely wasn't me I mean who done it granddad it wasn't the big shit fairy monster was it that came down and done a big massive <laughs> 
all over the floor. I know for a fact that wasn't the case. I don't know. I can't make it out. But I'll pass you over to him. And maybe you can drum some sense into his head. And I'll see you back here in a moment. Oh, that boy Chris, he said I can't go to the toilet on my own. I said I'm making a mess, I don't know. I'm as healthy and as sane as I've ever been. I remember during the war, during the war, oh, oh, hang on a minute, oh, it's coming out, oh, 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 no. Oh, it's on the floor again. That boy's gonna go mad. Oh, I better get rid of it. Don't tell him it comes in the Hi guys, welcome back. I'm glad Grandad's keeping the house nice and clean for me. I won't have to do anything when I go in, most obviously. What I am doing, actually, I'm getting ready for Christmas. I mean, it's only, what, about six weeks away now, isn't it? So it's going to be a marvellous time. It's a beautiful Christmas. Oh, oh, I'm getting my Christmas tree ready, as you can see behind me. It's a big, massive one, obviously. The boys are getting it ready. Uh, I'll be back in a minute, boys. Keep cutting it down, and I'll come and get it on my shoulder and drag it home in a sec. Cheers. And it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Of course, I'll climb up to the top and get a big, massive fairy on top of there. I'll probably get Jax to sit on top of the Christmas tree. That will be fantastic. If you are still watching the video, make sure you like this video. And if you haven't subscribed as well, make sure you do. Because I'll obviously get upset again and start crying on social media again. What I'm going to do, though, I'm actually going to have a new worker coming very, very soon. He's actually a chef. Obviously, he won't be anything comical. He's a natural chef. He will just do cooking and get everything perfect every single time, won't he? I'm going to have have him he's going to do all of the Christmas cooking for Christmas Day I mean I'm going to be a crazy crazy busy Christmas Day I'm going to have Christine her 27 boyfriends I've got the 18 workers here at the studio I'm going to have all my family down which of course I don't like I just have to put up with them on Christmas Day what I'm going to do though I've got an excuse this year I can say no sorry I'm busy filming for YouTube but I'll have to see you next Christmas won't I that's what I'm going to do I've actually really really figured that out which is going to be fantastic isn't it but what I'm going to do as well, I'm not buying any Christmas presents this year. No, I'm going to wait until Boxing Day. You know, like some of you do out there. When you get these presents on Christmas Day and you think that's shit and you say it's nice, of course, just to obviously pacify the family member, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up all my shit on Christmas Day and then on Boxing Day, I'm going to rewrap it and give it to everyone as their presents. So I just say I was busy filming on Christmas Day and obviously Christmas Eve and the weeks beforehand and say I wasn't uh, able to give out the presents and then I'll give them out on Boxing Day and it will be absolutely fantastic and I'll look like a right true hero and a magnificent comedian that's known around the world anyway but i'll see you again on monday for a full full show so for me chris the cheek of it 69 from london england i'll leave you a video there and a subscribe button up there i do absolutely love you all thank you for your six months of support and i hope it's many many years to come so do have a great day and be safe wherever you are in the world take care love you all bye for now mm -hmm.